The Cheap Life Stretching, Saving, and Surviving with Kim Hello everybody! Today we're going to straighten these crooked nails. Boy, are they ever crooked. We were building and they just bent. This one rusted out, but it's still a good nail. It has The rust hasn't gone all the way through. Here's another one that's pretty crooked. And another one. This will be the hardest one most likely to straighten because it has a, a nice arc in it right here. Sometimes they just refuse. But then again, with any luck, maybe it will just go straight. Okay, so grab a pair of needle nose. And this is a three inch nail right here. So what we want to do is we have this bend in it right here. See if we can get a good shot of that. See where it has two bends in it. One is right here, it dips, and then it does the op opposite dip right here. And so what we want to do is try to straighten this end out right here, the highest dip, or just basically the dip. So grab that with your needle nose and lay it down. Let it just sit on your board. And then start hammering and let this this tip here slide across your board. So what you want to do is you don't want to hold it real tight and firm, but hold it with a firm grip. But don't press it into the board unless you absolutely have to. So you want this to slide and go into the wood and let the hammer and tools do most of the work. So just start tapping it out. You may have to really hold it tight with your needle nose. You may have to get a pair of pliers on it actually. I'm going to go for the pliers, being obstinate as we'd call it. So what you'd have to do actually is get over an edge like this, hold it. Okay, just go over the edge and start pounding. Or you could actually let it slide into the wood. Sometimes you have to go over the edge because I have a pair of pliers. I have to go over the edge. Needle nose, not so much. Then, once you've hit it, work on the other side of that nail. Turn it over, turn your nail over, and press and hold. And usually when they get, when you get up near the head, it's kind of hard to straighten them at times. So you have to get the right angle and other, other grabs on it that would work for it. And let it go into the wood. And you may need to take your pliers and try to use your needle nose and your pliers. You can do either tool at either end. And do the best to straighten it. And then you would have to work with the angle of the head and where it tilts one way or the other. You go toward where it tilts up toward the air and kind of start whacking it there and then give it another shot and we'll do this other long nail. We're going to try to do it with a needle nose. And you can bring it down to the head if you'd like anywhere that you can hold on to it really well. You can also hit the head into the wood. And just pound. Turn if you can. And pound. And again, what what you'll do with the head hitting it into the wood kind of stabilizes it for you. You may have to move those needle nose or whatever your tool is to hold it upward or go over the edge. Experimentation a lot of times is what's required with quite a few different nails. And you can see we have a little bit of ridge right in here. Still not perfectly straight. So our end down here is where it's actually 
coming down this way. And you'd see it when you work with nails, you'll see it. So if you're paying attention, that's the key. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go over the edge because my tool is not fitting well with this nail. So I could go over the edge. I'm going to try it this way though. And it's kind of working, but not totally. And this, how this is happening to me now is how it happens sometimes when I'm actually working with nails and support. And you can pound and straighten, just give it whack after whack. And you can kind of lift when you're hitting it too sometimes. You just have to get to know those nails though. But this is the basic process of how to straighten these crooked ones out. And so you don't have to buy more nails too soon. Uh, with nails that you do straighten, because they bent, always expect that they could rebend in the same places or even look worse than when they initially bent. Sometimes you can't really get a nail perfectly straight, but this looks pretty good. You can still try to use it. The more familiar with nails that you are, the easier it'll be to reuse nails that are already straightened and they want to bend, but sometimes you really luck out with them. And they just go in like they're going through a pound of butter. There we go. Give it a little tighter grip on you. It slips like that. Tighter grip. And that's pretty straight. And that is one that you could use again. And there you have it, that's straightening nails. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button for more good videos.